not dead yet. Fake obituaries in the digital age. The internet is a strange place. We get news there. We connect with friends. And now, sometimes, we find out we are dead. Fake obituaries are a growing problem. These are online articles that say someone has died, even though they are still alive. Imagine logging on and finding your own obituary. This is the shocking reality for some people. This isn't just a harmless prank. It can cause real pain and confusion. Family and friends are left reeling, only to discover it was all a lie. The rise of artificial intelligence, or AI, is making it easier to create and spread these false stories. We need to understand this problem and find ways to stop it. The internet, for all its wonders, has a dark side. Fake obituaries are a symptom of a larger issue, the spread of misinformation. We need to be careful about what we believe online and how we react to it. The next section will explore a real-life example of this disturbing trend. In 2013, I was the victim of a cruel online hoax. A fake obituary announcing my death circulated on the internet. The article was detailed, even mentioning a non-existent wife and children. I was shocked and horrified. I spent days trying to get the fake obituary removed. I experienced something similar. A fake obituary claimed I had died in a car accident. As a therapist, I was devastated. I worried about the impact on my clients and my reputation. These stories show how real the pain of fake obituaries can be. These are just two examples among many. The emotional toll on the victims is immense. But how are these fake obituaries created? AI is getting better at writing. Programs can now generate realistic looking news articles, including obituaries. All it takes is a few pieces of information and the AI can do the rest. This makes it easy for anyone with an internet connection to create a fake obituary. These fake articles are often shared on social media where they can quickly go viral. People share without checking the facts, believing what they see. This rapid spread makes it even harder to control the damage. The ease with which AI can create fake content is alarming. It's not just obituaries. AI can generate fake news, reviews, and even social media posts. This technology has serious implications for how we consume information online. The rise of AI in content creation is a double-edged sword. While it offers incredible possibilities, it also poses significant risks. We must be vigilant and critical of the information we encounter. Section 4. The Real Cost. Grief, Anger, and Confusion. The impact of fake obituaries on loved ones is significant. Imagine receiving a call from a friend, distraught over your supposed death. This is the reality for many victims, families, and friends. The initial shock can be overwhelming, leading to genuine grief and despair. Then comes the anger and frustration of realizing it's a lie. The emotional roller coaster can be incredibly damaging. Some victims report feeling violated as if their identity has been stolen. Beyond the immediate emotional impact, there are practical consequences. Victims might have to field calls and messages from concerned acquaintances. They may need to take steps to correct the record and protect their online reputation. Section 5. A Larger Problem Trust and Responsibility in the Age of AI Fake obituaries are a symptom of a larger issue, the erosion of trust in the digital age. With AI making it easier to create and spread misinformation, how can we know what to believe? This problem extends far beyond obituaries. Fake news, deep fakes, and other forms of AI-generated content threaten to undermine our shared reality. Tech companies like Google and Facebook are struggling to combat this problem. They're investing in AI detection tools and working to flag or remove fake content. But it's a constant battle, and the technology keeps evolving. The responsibility to address this issue doesn't rest solely on tech companies. We all have a role to play in combating misinformation. We need to be more critical of what we see online and think twice before sharing something that could be false. Section 6. Fighting back. What can be done? So, what can we do? 
First, we need to raise awareness about fake obituaries and the harm they cause. Education is key. We need to teach people how to spot fake news and how to verify information online. Second, we need to hold tech companies accountable. They have a responsibility to invest in AI detection tools and to remove harmful content from their platforms. We can demand better from these companies and support legislation that promotes online safety and accountability. Finally, we need to remember our own power as individuals. We can choose to be more discerning consumers of information. We can think critically about what we read online and verify information before we share it. By working together, we can fight back against fake obituaries and create a safer, more trustworthy online world.